Hey everyone, welcome to my second project pen update. I'm gonna be telling you how it's going and I'm gonna be showing you my progress. So let's get right into the video. So if you haven't been on my channel before, my name is Marley and I love making YouTube videos about makeup and beauty. I love doing looks, swatches, reviews, or will I buy it videos. So if that sounds good to you, then don't forget to subscribe. I usually upload about two to three videos a week and would love to see you again on my channel. So if you're new here, then you might not know that I'm actually doing a project pen for the first time. This is the very first time that I'm really like going for it, tracking my progress, updating you guys. So I'm still learning and I'm still discovering what works for me, what doesn't work for me. And I've been at this for like two months and I've developed some thoughts. I have some thoughts that I want to share with you in this video and I'm going to be changing some things up because I feel like some things aren't exactly working for me anymore so let's get into the products and i'll tell you all about it so what i feel like isn't working for me really and what i feel like i've kind of done wrong is that i've picked a lot of products that actually are hard to pen are really hard to use up and it's kind of like not making me feel super excited for my project pen because everything is so hard to do. It's so, it all goes so slow and I don't really see any progress and I feel like I should have chosen different things. I also feel like I chose some things that I thought I would use a lot but my makeup preferences have changed a little bit and that's why I actually don't use them a lot. And some things I'm not using now because it's not the right season for them. So, so yeah, we're just gonna be changing some things up because I don't feel like everything that I chose to begin with is still a good thing for me to be panning right now. So I wanna start with talking about the Smashbox Kelly Counter Palette. This I've had for years and I've used it so many times. This month, I actually used it like 20 times, something like that. I used it a lot, maybe even more. I wore makeup basically every day and basically every time I wore my makeup, I used this. What I have found out is that this powder is like basically impossible for me to pan. At first, I would mix these two, like the bronzer and the contour to get like a cool tone bronzer. But then I thought, this is a bit of a soft formula. So if I focus on that a bit more, then I will maybe hit pan because I can see progress i've used this particular one so much and i can actually see a difference so i hope you can kind of see in the bronzer you can definitely see that i've used it a lot i personally can really definitely see a difference i feel like that isn't going too bad it's going quite well I will also put up a picture of what it looked like last month. You're probably not going to see a big, big difference. It's hard to show on camera. But I definitely see that things are changing. And last month, I didn't feel like that was the case at all. But it's kind of hard for me at this moment to use anything else than this little palette. I feel like that's kind of like taking away the fun. This is so much work that I have to use it so much to see any difference. And I'm just using this and using this and completely forgetting about my other bronzers. And I don't really feel good about this. So I was actually thinking about switching this up, but just for a few months and then bringing it back later in the year. I just want to give another bronzer a chance and just use my other bronzers and then still use this of course, but then see how I feel about it if I use it later on. I just kind of want to take a break from this and then use it again later. So I'm not completely giving up, but I just want to mix it up a little bit because this is just, this is so hard to do for me. This is so much work. So what I was kind of thinking is to put in this bronzer by Essence. This is one that I've reviewed on my channel. I really like it. I don't love the scent and it's also pretty powdery, but I do really like the effect this gives on the skin, but also it's a really light bronzer. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I focus on this right now, now that I'm not as tan, and then when I'm a bit more tan, that I can focus on that Smashbox palette again, because I'm not gonna be able to use this in the summer. So this is the time of year that I'm gonna be able to use it. So maybe I should just focus on this lighter bronzer a bit more that looks a bit more natural right now, and it is less pigmented. And then when I've been in the sun a bit more and it's summer, then I can go back to the other palette. I just feel like this is a nice one for this time of year. It's a bit more easier to use because 
it's so lightly pigmented and it's a light light color and i just feel like if i don't put this in now i'm just gonna forget about it completely because i'm so focused on that palette because i feel like otherwise i'm never gonna hit pen i just want it I just want to switch it up for something a bit more easy to do. So I just want to use this for a few months. It kind of feels like I'm giving up, but I need to make this fun for myself again. So I still I still really want to pen that Smashbox palette. I would love to do that, but I think it's just too much right now. So that is gonna be the switch. And I will show you how this one looks right now. You see there's a little bit of use but it's not a lot just yet. Now let's move on to this liquid lipstick. This is one that I don't love using right now and I already knew when I put this in that I was probably not gonna love using this in the spring and summer because it's really like cool toned, almost gray toned with a little bit of a purpley undertone nude and it's not something I wear this time of year and I just really don't feel like grabbing for this one. I've used this one three times in a month. That's not a lot, but I'm not gonna be using it anymore. I'm gonna be switching this out because it's just not what I'm into right now. I'm not gonna reach for this. And actually, I'm just gonna leave out the liquid lipstick for now. I just feel a little bit overwhelmed. I think I will have enough lip products, so I'm just gonna take this out and not have any liquid lipstick in right now. So in total, I actually use this seven times since I started my project pen. That's that's not a lot. But also I just love switching it up. That's just, I just love switching it up with my lipsticks and this, I really try to wear it more, but this is just what it is. It's gonna leave my project pen right now. Thank you for being here, but that was it. Maybe later on I will put a liquid lipstick back in, but I think I'm good for now. So let's move on to the lip gloss that is in my project pen. This is a lip gloss by NYX in the shade Spirit. And I thought I was gonna use this a lot, but I ended up not using it a lot because I don't really love to wear this with a lip liner. And I just feel like this isn't very versatile. I don't feel like there are a lot of looks that I do that I love wearing this with. I thought I would, but I'm just in a phase that I'm not really into using this one. I don't know what it is, but I never grabbed this one. I only used this one four times this last month and I just feel like it's too pigmented and creamy for me to com combine with like lip liners or something like that. I don't really love wearing it with a lip, lip liner. I only really like wearing it on its own but then it's just not really impactful enough and I only really like wearing it with a really neutral look but I don't do that a lot. And also when you first apply this it doesn't look very flattering. You kind of have to wait for it to sink in a little bit for it to look good and sometimes I don't really feel like waiting for that. So that's kind of a con with this lip gloss and I just don't feel like wearing this anymore and I don't want to have any makeup in my project pen that I'm not excited about. So this has got to go. So what I chose instead is this Catrice lip oil and this is a powerful five glossy lip oil with hyaluronic acid, almond oil, jojoba, avocado, coconut. It's so nice, it's so hydrating and I feel like I can wear this with a lip liner but I can also just wear it on its own. It's really hydrating. I feel like this is a bit more versatile and I can see myself wearing this with a bit of a cool tone pinky lip liner but I can also see myself wearing this just on its own. Sometimes I use it more as a balm, sometimes I use it more for like no makeup makeup looks, make my lips just look a little bit more juicy, it just has a slight bit of color to it. I think I can wear this quite a lot. Maybe I won't always use it like for full on makeup, but it's just so easy to throw on. There's not really a fuss with this one. I feel like there are multiple occasions where I could grab for this one. So that's why I'm gonna put this one in instead of that other gloss. Then two things I am gonna keep in. One is this little NYX eyeshadow that I use as a highlighter. This one I actually used... This one I actually used six times. I, I'm not really in a rush with using this one because it already has a pen and I just use it when I feel like using it and I think it's just fine for that. I don't really feel any pressure with this one. Let me show you up close what it looks like right now. You can see the pen has gotten a little bit bigger. 
Every time I use it, I do see a difference. I also put a picture on the screen of what it looked like last month. The pen just slowly grows bigger and I think it's fine to just keep this in my project pen, but not focus on this one too, too much. What I am focusing on is this Catrice Highlighting Eyeshadow. I've used this a lot. Let me see, I've used this... I've used this about 15 times and I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm grabbing for this a lot. I think this is just such a great highlighter, such a great neutral shade. I definitely have a bit of a dip in there. You can definitely see that I've used this a lot. And this is one where I'm like, if I go on for a few more months, I'm definitely gonna hit pan on this one. And I just feel more excited about this one than about some of these other products. I just really feel like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it this is something I can do. So that's why I'm just gonna keep it in, keep focusing on this one. I feel like next month I will also be able to use this like 10 times. And I'm curious to see what it will look like then. And then this Essence, the blush in Befitting. I was kind of unsure if I wanted to keep this in because this is a hard one to use. This one is a hard one to pan. I did use this one like nine times so that's not bad especially because i'm just really into blush right now using all different kinds of blushes using a lot of glowy blushes so i'm actually not mad at that i've used it quite a lot but you don't see a big difference it's just a really pigmented blush and it's not powdery at all so i will once again put up a picture of what it looked like last month but this, this is a tough one. This is gonna take a lot of time. And I told you that my goal was to make sure that like the writing wasn't visible anymore. But that's also gonna take quite a long time. But I think because I took out the bronzer that was really hard to pen, I'm gonna keep this one in. There can be some difficult makeup in this project pen, just not everything. So I'm still gonna be focusing on this one, still gonna be working on it. I'm probably not gonna see a lot of progress real soon, but I feel like I'm still using it enough. I'm not mad about that. I think using this nine times in a month is pretty good. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this progress actually, even though you can't really see it. Then next up, the MAC In Control Lip Liner. I've used this one three times this month. It's not a lot, but I'm not really into using this one right now. I feel like it's a bit too dark and rosy, for this time of year for me for a lip liner that I'm going to be using a lot. I feel like I used to wear shades like this almost every day. But now I'm more focused on eyeshadow. And then I usually grab for a more nude shade. I also feel like a nude lip liner is a bit easier to combine with other lip shades than this really specific rosy tone. So not a lot has happened here. I haven't used it a lot. But I also don't feel like that's really going to change. Because this is just not a color that I'm going to grab for a lot of times in a month. I'm just more into nude shades right now. Of course I love rosy lips. And I do want to wear a rosy lip once in a while. But it's not something I'm gonna wear like 10 times in a month And this is not really gonna move any faster And I don't really feel inspired right now to keep using this one up So I'm gonna replace that one with the lip liner Nice and Spicy by MAC This is from the same range, the Pro Longwear range I really like this shade It's like a bit of a cool toned nude, like a neutral nude It's not really extremely warm It works well together with more warm and more cool nudes And I feel like I'm already using this one quite a bit And I'm definitely using it more than a rosy lip liner So I feel like if I focus on this one I could definitely use this one quite a bit And I just want to see what happens if I pick a nude lip liner if I'm gonna use it a lot more. So In Control is out and Nice and Spicy is in the project pen right now. Then the lipstick that I have in my project pen is the MAC Mare lipstick and I thought I was gonna use this quite a lot because there was a time in my life that I used this one a lot. I used it a lot in combination with In Control but as I said, this is not really the type of shade that I'm reaching for a lot right now. And I actually only use this one three times. That isn't a lot. But I'm going to be keeping it in because I just really want to use this up. 
and I'm gonna accept that it's gonna take quite some time but I just want to use it more. It wouldn't feel right if I took this one out. It's just with In Control with the lip liner I don't really feel a rush. I don't feel like I really have to use it up but this one is a bit older and I just feel like I want to use it as much as I can and that's just what I'm planning to do and that's just what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna be keeping this in but I don't think there will be a lot of monthly progress and probably when I use it I will still use the In Control lip liner but I feel like if I have another lip liner I can also combine it with a lot of different lip shades and then it will be easier to use up. <laughs> then <laughs> okay so this eyeshadow I thought I was gonna use up or I thought I was gonna hit 10 on it the first month but I already used this like 17 times in total 12 times this month I used this one a lot and I still haven't hit 10 it's the endless eyeshadow is this one over here let me just take it out I thought I was gonna hit 10 on this one so fast I thought this is gonna be easy peasy and I already had quite a big dip in it when I started, but now we still have a big dip, but no pan. And every time I use this, I'm like, I'm gonna hit pan. Every time I do a look with this, I'm like, I'm gonna hit pan today. It's gonna happen, swirl my brush around and nothing happens. It's still the same. The dent has gotten a little bit bigger, but there is no pan inside. I feel like it could happen any moment, but it could also happen after like 20 more uses. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep going because I just feel like I can do this. I'm close. Even when I'm not close, I feel like I'm close. This is gonna happen. So last up, last month, I was really proud of my progress with this perfume. It was going so well. I was using it a lot. I was using it almost every day, but it has gone bad. When I first started using this in my project pan, it still smelled pretty good. It's an older perfume in my collection, but it still smelled pretty good nice it was a little bit like alcoholy but it smelled nice when i sprayed it on so i felt like i could use it but the more i use it the more it just smells like alcohol and i don't really smell the scent anymore and then when i apply it i don't really smell during the day i only smell alcohol and it gives me a headache so it's like it has gotten unusable for me i really wish i could use this up I know I could do this in like a month or two. I'm so far with this one. I've gotten so far with this one, but it's just, this is just not something I still want to use. I just should throw it out. It's just too old. I feel like sometimes with products like makeup products or beauty products or perfumes, it's like if they are like full and when you haven't used them a lot you can keep them for a long time and it will smell good and it will look good for quite a long time but if you have an older product and then you start using it a lot it might go bad really fast and I think that's what happened with this perfume because I used it so much maybe a lot of air came into the bottle or something like that just from the moment I started using it up I started using it more it went bad so this is gonna leave my project pan and it's gonna move to the trash can so i actually thought it was quite a difficult decision i didn't really know what i wanted to replace it with of course i want a perfume in my project pan but i didn't really know what would be what would be like the best option and in the end i went with this perfume this is the daisy love one and i've already used it quite a bit but i feel like i could use it more and i don't do it because it's a bit more expensive and i tend to be a little bit too careful with expensive perfumes and i just want to make myself use expensive perfumes more because it's also sad if you don't use them up and then they go bad and you have to throw them out it's better to just use what you pay for right so and that's my goal with that one I think it's a really nice kind of sweet scent. It has a little bit of woody notes in there. It has some flowery elements to it. I think it's a really nice everyday scent that is a little bit more sweet. It's not like extremely fresh and that's what I really like. So I'm just gonna see how far I go. I'm gonna see how much I can use this and I hope I can kind of get used to using more expensive perfumes more. So that was everything for my project pan update and I'm pretty excited to start working on these new products. I feel like I've learned a lot since I've started this project pan and I feel like I have a better idea of what kind of products work for me in a project pan. So I hope I'm gonna be noticing that in the coming months. I do think I made better choices. And there are just a few things that you have to keep in mind when you're choosing your products for your project pan. You have to just feel excited. You have to feel motivated and 
I feel like I just chose the wrong things and I just feel like I'm ready to go, ready to make some progress and ready to use these products. So I'm pretty excited. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. And then I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.